Hi guys, it's reaction time. Got quite a bit to do today. Um, try not to do it all at the weekend, <laughs> but it's hard, you know, but um, got a little bit of time in between going back to work. So uh, gonna smash a few videos out. The first one being a band called Images of Eden. I've covered this band before. Um, bought out a great album a couple of years back. Um, they bought out an EP last year, which I didn't get around to listening to, um, and they're a great band, so I thought I'd make sure I cover them with this EP. This song is called Count to Zero. It's from their sixth studio release, but I said did say it was an EP off the EP Weathered and Torn, released last year, like I said, available everywhere now. So um, this the band have been busy, though. So they've uh, been supporting Wasp on their uh, anniversary tour, their recent anniversary tour, so that's very cool to get out there and show their talent to the to the world with Wasp. Um, so they don't sound like Wasp though, they don't, um, but they're very heavy, um, a metal band for sure. Progressive elements, you know, a few classic rock elements I would say, but more, you know, real modern sort of sounding band, but absolutely fantastic sounding band as well. Great musicians. Um, in the band is Gordon Titsworth on the vocals and rhythm guitar, Steve Dawson on the drums, Eric Mulvane on the bass, Carlos Urquid on the lead guitar, and Dean Harris on the piano and keys. So I really have been meaning to get round to this, and um, I don't know, it ain't been easy. It hasn't been easy, but I'm here now. Um, Images of Eden, count to zero. Here we go, guys. First reaction of the day. Like me in the morning. Gonna stop it there guys. Sounds like we've got a solo coming and we're halfway through. So man, I said they were a metal band. I mean, that's yeah, really showing through on this. Some crushing riffs there at the beginning. Those great progressive parts they've got. What a clever band these these are as well, man. I mean, I'm just thinking as I was, that verse kicked in. I was thinking, man, that, you know what I mean? To be in a progressive band like this, and they're not, they're not fully progressive, obviously they're, you know, that's a part of their sound, if you like. They're a metal band with progressive elements, for sure. 
Um, I was thinking, man, do you know what I mean? You've got to be a, just a top of your game musician to play, especially with all these guys. But I was just looking at the drummer thinking, hey, what the fuck, man? I couldn't even know where to start. Do you know what I mean? I'm, when it comes to drums, I'm like, boo, 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 boo. I can't even do that, boo, 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 actually. I'm terrible. But um, that just, you know, the musicianship, first of all, is outstanding. It really is. I know too what I like about this band as well is sometimes and some with some progressive type music is that when the rhythms first kick in, I'm like, what's going on? You know, I can't work it out sometimes. I'm a bit, you know, it's probably where I'm not a musician, although I was in bands at times. Um, but you know, not really, you know, <laughs> progressive bands in any in any uh, shape whatsoever. So when that like, you know, it kicks in, I'm like, I can't quite get the rhythm first of all but then the second time round on that second verse i got it so that's really cool they're not you know dream theater mind-blowing they're just on the right side of progressive music to me um i'll tell you what i love though man and they did remind me a little bit of modern day queensryche um the, you know the last few albums from queensryche now with todd the tour in the band that when that chorus opened up I was like, yeah, that sounds like something, um, you know, on in Extremist, the new album. It really does. The way, and that's what I like about this band as well. They know when to get you with something, you know, really melodic. And it almost stands out because of that complexity of other parts of the song. So when that chorus hit, I was like, man, that that's soaring. That sounds great. So I love that. Really sound relevant this band they sound modern they really do um i did mention like they've got elements of classic rock earlier i have heard that in their sound before but not so much in this i think this is really like an up-to-date modern um sound and you know what I, I, there's nothing wrong with that at all you know i touch upon 80s music as well like anyone does at my age but um they really have gone you know for a modern sound on this one in particular and heavy and clever and like i said the songwriting is always the most important thing for me and that chorus they know how to write a chorus that's exactly what they've done when that just opened up like that really looking forward to some uh soloing because these guys are obviously like top-notch you know musicians so um here we go for the rest we're halfway through guys we're going to get a solo now, I think. I think it's just started, so I'm really excited about that. Here we go. Ha 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 ha! 
Wow. What an absolutely fantastic song, man. Loved everything about it. That solo. I mean, we talk about complex playing and, you know, technical playing. Man, that was just an outstanding. I love the way, like, the, the bass, drums and guitar and the synths all worked in unison across that, that last part of that solo. Outstanding stuff. What a great solo that was. Very cool, the way it was almost split. You know, the length of the song, it flew by and almost got, you only got one chorus. Then we went into that extended solo, which was fantastic. Then straight back, no messing around. The song seemed like it was over in a flash, which is uh, good in a way, you know, because it just shows you the, you know, excitement and, you know, that was in the writing of that song. So fantastic, man. Great little storyline on the video, you know, as well on the song. Just, you know, it's never too late to turn your life around, which is true. You know, it's never too late. It might be really hard as well, but, you know, if you, um, sometimes it's almost like a, a light bulb moment, I suppose, isn't it? When people in the lowest times of their life can switch things around. So very cool message in the song and video as well. So, man, that was absolutely fantastic. That was Images of Eden count to zero remember weathered and torn which was the ep that came out last year is available everywhere now they would be great man touring with queensryche i really think that would i don't know if they have done that they've toured with some great bands but i think that you know i could imagine queensryche fans getting hold of this band and thinking you know that there's some real similarities between the two bands and that's never a bad thing i could imagine a lot of queen's right fans latching onto this band for sure if they went out on tour of them so perhaps that's one to look out for on the band hopefully to maybe they have reached out to them already but i think that would be a great lineup man it really suit queen's as well so um thanks guys let me know what you think of this song count to zero in the comments below i'll see you soon